Aquarius, this is Amber with Lives in Sync Tarot. This is your <clears throat> singles reading, excuse me, for September 2017. Your oracle card is heart to heart conversations, honestly discussing your feelings with each other. Okay. Um, you have the Seven of Wands, the Justice, I believe this is, yes, and the crown chakra. Those are your intuitive read cards before we go into the reading. So what I'm feeling from this Aquarius is that there may have been some arguing or even, I feel like you're going back to old energy, um, feeling old energy yeah but it's time for you to move forward okay um and you're trying to decide what is the best path to do it like you did in the past to continue on like you're doing now or to change things up in the future is what i'm getting okay um it's time for a different perspective to be looked at or evaluated you may need to step away for a moment to do that, right? For you to gain some control, okay? For you to gain some control over the situation or make some rules or figure out what, where you wanna stand, what you wanna invest your time and energy into. If you wanna make a risk, because it's all about what's best for you. All right, not the other person to communicate your truths. And that's why you have heart to heart conversations. This is about talking with someone or maybe with a partner or someone new. You end with the crown chakra and that's about using your intuition, using spirit to guide you. And really what I'm getting is just your overall health and overall energy. What's best for that? For you continuing forward. Okay. So your cards are the lovers. Page of wands. The fool. The magician. The moon, ten of cups, nine of pentacles, ten of wands, and the justice. On the bottom of the deck you have the page of pentacles. And to me this is just an idea of manifesting something new. I feel like you really want to manifest something. Underneath you have the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. You definitely may be dealing with an earth sign with all of these pentacles, okay? Or your own stability. That's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn that you may be dealing with. So I feel like you want to manifest some change. You want to make some changes. You notice things are going a certain way and you need them to be more towards your stability. It's like you're willing to take the steps, but the first step is going to be the hardest because you have to get through some blockage, okay? And I really do feel like this has to do with love and your patience in love. So with the moon card in the center, that's telling me that you're facing some things. Um, learning how to use your own compassion to get through fear or uh, insecurities, okay? You may be having dreams as well. Messages. I'm just looking over the card so I can get a feel. You may have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And I feel as though you're trying to make a decision 
on how you want to proceed. That's all that I get here. How you want to manifest what you want to manifest. If you should manifest in someone new or this new energy, which again may be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. If you should take this risk, is it worth it? Even though I feel like maybe it won't be or that there won't be any growth or that there are problems. But you have the power to manifest anything you want within this relationship, especially with this under the lovers. You have the decision. You can make the decision to step into this if you would like. But I do feel like there's something you don't know about this person, this new person. Or there's something you don't understand or something's not clear. There's a reason why you don't feel or you don't know why you don't. There's a reason why you feel like I don't want to take this leap. Okay. Because it looks like what you want is something happy, something secure, something full of emotion. But this person just... I feel like they're very passionate, but they don't give you that love part. Um, the affection part. It's more uh, intimate based. Um, they may touch you a lot. But I feel like you're questioning whether or not you want to manifest this. But I do feel like there is an attraction towards this person. And I feel like you really do want this person. But I feel with the detached car being justice, okay, you're trying to find the balance between the passion and the the love part of this of this relationship but it's best for you to focus on with this car what's the best for you I feel like you've been doing a lot of work on yourself about the things that you want within your life, which is why it's causing you to question this person and what their ideals are, or what their goals are for you. You don't want any burdens. You already have enough responsibilities. And but the moon card is in the middle. So there's fear. There's hesitation. But all in all, it's about you seeing what's best for you. Is this something that will be prosperous for me? Or will this create burdens for me? And you're trying to find the balance or trying to figure out what will be best or what will be fair within this situation. Because you do want this love. You want this bliss. You want this... this emotional part of the relationship that's important to you but you definitely have stability well i'm not going to say stability but i feel like you're stable in yourself okay you have stability and you're pretty independent and self-reliant on yourself okay but there is something that is missing and because you can achieve this you can achieve anything that's how you feel. But it's really about the decision whether or not to take this opportunity. I just heard go back. So this may be someone in the past as well. Or someone that you just have more of an intimate relationship with. And it's not really emotional. But that's something that you're looking for. And 
I feel with heart to heart discussions, this is either you talking to the other person or being true to yourself about what it is that you need. Like really getting down to the bottom of everything and seeing if there is an opportunity for love here. Because I feel like it is, but with the moon card in the center, there's some sort of fear or confusion. So it's up to you for you. It's up to you to make to make the leap or to make the decision. Cuz I feel like they're going to be what they are. They they have a very they just do what they want to do type of energy. And it's up to you to make the decision to to press this emotional issue. Cause it almost feels like you took a risk on this relationship even at the beginning or this situation. Wanting this 10 of cups energy or wanting that energy. But now with the justice, you're cons figuring out if this is fair because it's a lot of weight on you. But you're almost at the end because the Ten of Wands is about the end. So it's almost what I'm hearing. It, <laughs> it's like you're at the, the end of your rope. And it's time for you to make a decision or to balance out the fairness. You might even be waiting on a judgment. You may have expressed how you felt about the situation because I see that as well. I see you expressing what it is that you want out of a relationship. And you're pretty solid in what it is that you need because you you want to release these burdens or these responsibilities having to carry everything on your own. And waiting on a judgment. I'm getting judgment from the justice card. Okay, so things can be fair, so fairness can be achieved. Okay, so I'm going to end that there, Aquarius. If this resonated with you, there is an extended reading in the description box below. Also, if you would like a private reading, that is also in the description box below. I will see you next month. I love you very much. Love and light.